it's time for us to look at the concept of trumps. In bridge, there is normally a trump suit. Clubs, diamonds, hearts or spades. There is an alternative, the fifth possibility, that's called no trumps. That means no one suit is selected to be trumps, so you can play without a trump suit. But it's during the auction at the beginning of the game which determines what the trump suit is. Why is this important? Well, because being the trump suit means that all the cards of that suit beat all the cards of other suits. If, say, hearts are trumps, a heart, any heart, will beat all clubs, all diamonds and all spades. Let's start by seeing how we select trumps and then we'll see the effect trumps have on the play. Now once the players have sorted out their cards, the auction will begin. One diamond. One diamond. Don't worry too much what that one means for now. The important thing is that Caroline wants diamonds to be trumps because she has lots of them. Two clubs. Two clubs. Nick wants clubs to be trumps. Two hearts. Two hearts. Partner, I'm not so keen on your diamonds, but I'm strong in hearts. Three clubs. Three clubs. Grigina's saying, OK, partner, I hear your two club bid. If you want clubs to be trumps, so do I. I also want clubs to be trumps. Back to Caroline. Three diamonds. Partner, I bid diamonds earlier. Now I am bidding diamonds again. I don't like your hearts much and I really, really do want diamonds to be trumps. I really have a lot of them. Perhaps six cards or so. Pass. 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 Now after three passes in succession, the auction is concluded. So the final contract, the highest bid, is three diamonds. And crucially, that means diamonds are trumps. Now we're going to see how important trumps are by observing this passage of play. Take a good look at this distribution of cards. The lead is the king of clubs. Declarer plays the three from the dummy and the third player realises there's no point in playing the ace because partner's king is going to win the trick. So she plays the four, Declara plays the two, because you have to follow suit. A trick. The player who won that trick then leads to the next trick. They reason that their king won the trick, presumably because their partner holds the ace. If Declara had held the ace, she would surely have taken the king with her ace, but she didn't. So now they lead the six of clubs. Dummy plays the seven, and the third player, as partner wisely predicted, plays the ace. And now you'll see the power of the trump suit. Trumps are diamonds, as determined during the bidding, and Declara has no more clubs. If she had a club, she would have to play a club. You have to follow suit. But she has no more clubs, and so she trumps it. And that is her trick, even though it's a lowly four of diamonds and her opponent has played an ace. She wins it because she has played the trump suit. So the choice of trump suit in bridge is absolutely vital. And the general rule when choosing the trump suit is that it's quantity, not quality, that counts.